so most people know that narcissistic people do not get better when they get older typically so i'm going to show you a video with this 60 year old narcissistic man that is still out here running these streets cheating it's crazy stay tuned i'm gonna react after you ain't got nothing to say where you say you go love hat on the streets you know that's your choice that's your choice if you want to go live on the street you destroy your own family you that's your choice if you choose to live on the street what you want me to do about it you want me to give you a blanket and a pillow <laughs> I'm talking to you. I can buy my own blanket and pillow. Do you need a blanket and no, a I pillow? No, no, no. Why not go to her house? Why not go with your so-called friends? You are a 60-year-old growing man. You. You're, but you're a growing ass. Show. You choose to give this woman my phone number. You just choose to destroy your house. You just destroyed 11 years. We've been off and on together. No, not even off and on together. I have put up with your bull crap and you, I haven't did you no consequences, nothing, but allowed you to keep on lying to me. Growing man. Growing man. You don't make no decision around here. None. You're not. Once I get out of your house, I'll make my own decision. You don't have to wait till you get out of my, your, my house. You made your decision last night when you choose to give this woman my phone number and she calling me names all last night and texting my phone with happy face and saying all kind of crap to me. You're a grown man. You can make your own decision. You're 60 years old. Oh, Seem to me. Yeah. I he, wish you be happy if I just drop day right now. That's your choice. Yeah. And if those the choice you choose, that's your business. You always want somebody to make you, you always want to play the victim after you destroy your own house. Y'all growing behind, man. Thank y'all. I ain't falling for it no more. Victim. You want to play the victim. Nobody feeling sorry for a growing behind man who sit around after 11 years and destroy his house. You go sleep outside. I will make sure you have a cover and a puller. Growing behind, no good. So no, I'm not saying that that man is a narcissist. But that's how narcissistic people act when they get caught cheating. And of course, if you knew her, I'm actually a diagnosed narcissist. After 10 years with this man, he cheated and wanted to blame me. How dare you do this to us? So in the mind of that possibly narcissistic man, he doesn't think he did anything because her own words she said we were on and off and i allowed you to keep lying to me i allowed you to you know i didn't give you any consequences so if you're dealing with a narcissist in the mind of a lot of narcissistic people it's like if you keep forgiving us or you overlook it or you take us back it's just black and white thinking like we don't think we've done anything wrong because it's been allowed you know what i mean if you allow me to go out here and cheat and make babies and do whatever i want to do outside of this relationship, then I'm going to keep doing that because that's to that's to my benefit, regardless of how you feel, because in my mind, it's just like, you're okay with it. And y'all, when I, whenever I hear the uh, phrase on and off, I always ask, what causes the off periods? You know, this is 10, 11 years. What causes the off periods? Why, why are you consistently off and not always on? You know, typically what causes the off periods is the indiscretions like cheating, uh, abuse, other, other types of abuse, financial abuse, um, they leave you, you leave them, and somehow y'all end up back together. And we, if you take that type of person back, it does not get better. I promise you it doesn't. And being realistic, in his mind, because you offered, he's going to be homeless, apparently. I don't know. Y'all, <laughs> I don't know why the, the people that don't have anywhere else to go, they be the, <laughs> they be the biggest cheaters. If you're like, you know, I'm risking, I'm risking my, when they, I'm, get, I'm guessing when they're talking to their affair partners, or their new supply, they'll be like, I'm risking my house and home for you. You know I care about you, you know, to get the cheeks or to get whatever from the other person because you, you get put out. I'm going to give you a blanket and a pillow. She said, I'm going to give you a pillow. She, uh, she from the South. Yeah, she from the South. <laughs> In his mind, because you're offering me a blanket and a pillow, I think you still want me. You still you still care about me. So I'm going to, I, I feel like I can smooth my way back in there. So sometimes you have to put your foot down 
and not put your foot down softly. Sometimes you have to stomp your foot. You don't have to put it down softly. Stomp, stomp that thing. They stomp it on you. They stomp it on your heart. They stomp it on your trust and whatnot. And sometimes you get narcissistic people like this who are super bold and give the new supply your phone number to call you and chastise you. Sometimes the narcissistic person's new supply knows about you. They know that you exist and they don't care. They think they're winning a prize, a 60 year old homeless prize with a, uh, the, the elite, he comes with a blanket and a pillow. You know what I mean? So yeah, sometimes the new supply will call you and brag on you. Like I took your man, mm, I took your girl, I took your wife. And like, that's crazy to me. Cause like you, you you're taking a cheater. You're taking a, <laughs> it blows my mind. But anyways, y'all, if y'all made it this far, hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all.